there may be a time in this country, this so-called free country, where we don't have access to this. We don't have access to ammunition or certain types of ammunition, or the ammunition may be too damn expensive. Hey, what the deal is? What's going on? I'm back with another one. It's Big Guns and Pistols. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel as well as follow me on Instagram. I do have the link in the description. And another thing I'll do, I'll put the link in the description to my other YouTube channel where I do filmmaking and I travel all over the place creating films and I do things like storytelling, motivating, all that type of stuff. I just started that channel back in April. So if you want to be a part of that, I'll put that link in the description and you can go over there and subscribe. But I'll also put a picture on the screen so that you're able to see what that channel looks like. Go ahead and subscribe over there for me. But right now, what I wanna talk about is ammunition storage. As you see here, there's many things I wanna say about this, but the first thing I'm gonna start off with saying is this. Back when I first started getting firearms and rifles and pistols and all of that kind of stuff, I never even thought that I would have as much ammunition as I have. Now these four ammo cans that you see here, this is just only four that I pulled out. Some of them are quite heavy and I have them put away in secret places. So I just grabbed three of the big ones. These are 50 cal ammo cans and this is one of the smaller ones. So I just wanted to use these four for demonstration as well as this small one here. Now, like I was saying before, I never thought that at the age of 19, that I would acquire as much ammunition as I have because at the age of 19, I wasn't thinking about a shit hit the fan situation. I wasn't thinking about that too much, just very little, but not too much. I knew that I would need a little ammunition, but it's imperative and important to have large amounts of ammunition on hand. And another thing is the mistake that we make as gun owner and preppers, whatever you want to call yourself, we put too many of our eggs in one basket. We need to have things spread it all over the place. We need to have things spread it out. Now these ammo cans aren't very big, so maybe if you wanna stash it on a closet shelf, maybe put a lock on one of these, that kind of thing. Maybe one of them here, one of them there, and one of them somewhere else, and maybe the rest at your home. I just kind of think in a sense of spreading things out, not keeping all of this in one place. Now, many of us, we have nearly all of our shit in one place. I'm guilty of this as well, but it's important to just kind of spread things out a little bit. I'm gonna show you the way I store my ammunition. It must be a steel container that's designed for storing ammunition the same way the military does. You'll find all sorts of containers for ammunition that are plastic, it may be a hard plastic. I don't get those, no exceptions. And even though I thought about that in the past, quite a few years back, I said no, I don't wanna get that. Any ammo can that I get or ammo container that I get must be steel, as you see here. Now the rest of my ammo cans, they're all the 50 cal ammo cans, like you see here. I got tons of these. These are not very expensive either. I believe you can get them from Walmart for about $14, $15. Maybe like $12.97, and after tax it'll be about $14, $15. It's important to me to store my ammunition in steel. These also have rubber sealers. These are airtight. Now what I'm gonna do is, y'all know how this go. I'm gonna show you close-ups of this. So let's get started with the small one. All right, so here we have my smaller one that I mentioned before. Now, this one here, I bought ammunition and it came with this can. This here is full of 556, 62 grain M855 ammunition. M855, however you wanna say it. But that's what's in here, the green tip. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. What I always do is I put silica packets in my ammunition can. That way I can ensure that the ammunition will stay dry. And I always, every few months, make sure that I oil the rubber sealer. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So if you can, get a real good look in there. You see these silica packets that I have. I have two on top and I have one down in there. This ammunition already comes in a box and there's 30 rounds within the box. Get a real good look at that. Y'all know that I'm gonna show you close-ups here. 
and I'm gonna show you this within detail. So this is how the ammunition come. In this little box here, there's 420 rounds of this. This is some of my favorite ammunition. I also keep some of the 223 Hornady ammunition in here with the red tip. As you can see here, this is very expensive ammunition. I believe it's about 40 rounds in here, but I keep it in a Ziploc bag, and I also put a silica pack inside of there because you guys don't know how important it is to keep that ammunition dry. I can kind of feel it in here how dry it is too. But that's how I have this small container. Silica packs packed nice and neatly. If you've been watching this channel for some time, then you know that everything that I do has structure to it. It's organized and it must be neat. Everything in this container here is neat. I make sure that I have those silica packs. So maybe if you need to go and order some of these or maybe pick some of these up from somewhere, but I make sure that I keep silica packs, not only in my ammo cans, but also in my gun cases where I store my magazines at because you want that area to be dry. All right, so let's get a good look at this one now. Within this ammo can, I have a variety of a few different ammunitions. I have some shotgun in here, and this is kind of one of the cases that is slightly mixed. If you've seen the rest of my ammunition cans, which I don't have all of them out, all of them are organized. So I have five, five, six in one of them. I may have two, two, three in the other. I have seven, six, two by 39. I keep it all together. But this one here is a slight mixture. So what I'll do is show you a few things of what I have in this can here. These, what you see here, these are 223. Forget where they're from, but I put them in a plastic Ziploc bag with a silica pack in there just to keep them all organized and keep them all together. I believe it's probably about 60 something rounds or maybe 100 rounds. I think it's 100 rounds in here. but. It's organized and it's in a Ziploc bag and that's how I keep it. Now I don't want to take it all out, but if you look down in there, you'll see some of the Tiger ammunition, which is some of my favorite 762 by 39 ammunition down up in there. I got about probably 80 rounds of that. And then I have another couple hundred rounds of that green tip down in there in that box, but I don't really want to take everything out and some shotgun ammunition. But the point is, is for you to see, this is organized. Everything in here is organized. You see silica packets. Nothing is all over the place. Nothing is scrambled around. Everything is organized and that's how it should stay. Let's take a look at something else. Now, if you get a good look at this, you can tell that all of this ammunition within this can is nine millimeter. No matter what brand it's from, it's all nine millimeter. Most of it's federal and there's some perfecta in here. Each of these boxes are 100 rounds. So you see 100 rounds, 100 rounds, 100 rounds. That's a total of 300 rounds. That way, when I keep certain ammunition within a box, I automatically can gauge how much I have. So if I take a look in here, down in there, there's some more, some more, but that's how I keep it. It's nice and it's neat. Keep everything neat. The 100 round boxes are on top. This is aluminum. I kind of like aluminum, but it's more brass case than there is aluminum. Just want to show you how it looks down up in there, but everything is organized. This here is all 762 by 39 ammunition from Tula. I had so much of it that I just decided to take it all out of the box, keep it loose, and put it in one of these ammo containers here. So I think it's about 1200 rounds if i can remember because i know that a thousand rounds filled up this whole thing but i somehow probably got another 100 rounds or so within the container but as you notice again in here you're going to see silica packs now there's silica packs in the middle as well as at the bottom so what i would do is i would throw two silica packs in there put some ammunition in there Wait till it fill up about halfway, put some more silica packs. When it's done and it's full, I put two more. Now, some may say that's overdoing it, but it's better to overdo it than to underdo it, sometimes within certain situations. So I want to make sure that this ammo stays dry so that I can preserve this ammunition and I still will be able to shoot this ammunition in probably another 20 years from now or another 20 or 25 years from when I purchased the ammunition. So I made sure that I keep all of this nice and well taken care of. And lastly, what I'll show you is this. If you look here and look at this rubber seal, every couple months what I do is 
I oil it. So I'll take some Q-tips and I'll take some of that rim oil and I'll just slide the Q-tip up and down so that I can keep the rubber oil so that it never dry rots. That rubber will dry rot. So what I do is make sure that I maintain oiling it. I'm gonna show you as close as I can get it, but it's nice and oiled. You gotta get all in there. I say probably once every six months I do it, probably once every six to eight months. I just pop all of my cans open and I take some time to oil those because I want them to be airtight. Now the thing about this is, you may look at this and say, well damn, that's a lot of ammunition. That's not a lot of ammunition at all. There is a little more than this that I have. This is only about, I think it's less than 1200 rounds. All right, I know for sure that it's over a thousand rounds. So it's somewhere between a thousand and 1300 rounds. But I know that I was able to get in more than a thousand. So it's somewhere between a thousand and 1300. It's a good start and I've been doing this for years on top of years since I was a teenager. So. It's a good start. What I always like to recommend is that have more than enough ammunition because there may be a time in this country, this so-called free country, where we don't have access to this. We don't have access to ammunition or certain types of ammunition or the ammunition may be too damn expensive. Kind of like here where I'm at, in Illinois, there's a tax on ammunition. They have a tax on ammunition. I don't wanna ever be in a position to where either I don't have access to it or it's entirely too damn expensive. I started this a long time ago, little by little, sometimes buying 100 rounds, sometimes buying two, three, 400 rounds, but I definitely do have more than what you see here. As far as within this container, it looks like a lot and it's somewhat of a lot. It's always best to have more because can you imagine a time to where you're not able to access it? Can you imagine a time to where it's possibly banned? Can you imagine that? So I'm glad that I was able to get me a piece of the pie and store me some ammunition and be able to have ammunition on hand for whenever I need it, just in case. But these are steel case. So I remember this Tula was about $4.99 a box. $4.98 a box at Walmart before Walmart stopped selling ammunition. Walmart used to sell 9 millimeter, 762 by 39, 223, 556, but they stopped all that. Now, all they have is hunting ammunition. 30-06, things of that nature. Anything that has to do with sports. This ammunition was pretty cheap for me to get at Walmart, and I used to go and get it all the time. Maybe later on, I'll make a video showing you guys some more ammunition and how I keep it, but if you have ammunition, you need to keep it in these solid steel containers. I cannot repeat that enough. You guys, I see a lot of guys on YouTube, you have these cheap-ass plastic Plano cases. Not a good idea. And that's just how I'm rolling. I like to keep my stuff in steel containers. These are not very expensive. And of course, the plastic containers may be a little more cheaper. I'd rather spend $14 on these and know that my ammunition is secure, taken care of, than to have a plastic case. What if I have to move this? What if I have to get up and go fast? I don't want my damn ammunition container cracking having cracks in it and all of that kind of stuff, no. So to just avoid all of that, just keep it all steel. Even with the small one that you see that I have. Let me bring it back over. Even with this small one. That's pretty much it for today. I thank y'all guys for watching. I wanna remind y'all, let's build some major here. You know, I got so many videos that I wanna make, so many thoughts that I have, and anytime I have a thought, I'ma make sure that I make a video and put it out. Soon I'm gonna start telling you guys about my stories that I've experienced and went through from different times where I actually had to draw a firearm. So make sure y'all guys subscribe to the channel if you're not. If you wanna see my other channel, go over there and I'll put that link in the description. I'll make sure that I put that picture on the screen. It's Big Guns and Pistols, thank you for stopping by. And if you all have any ideas on videos that I should make, let me know in the comment section. Peace.